Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the Emily Montez album, self-titled. Um, this is an unscripted video because I just, you know, I just need to like talk about this album because I listened to it for the first time like five minutes ago, and um, it, you know, I, I, I don't have the words to describe it, you know, it's just that good so i guess i'll just take it track by track you know well actually let's give some background so emily montes is a uh famed post-rock artist from uh iceland so she's been i think she's like michael jira's like daughter or something and like apex twin is her uncle but yeah she she comes from a really musical family and um recently you know because she has all this, uh, you know, musical lineage. Um, she started, you know, experimenting with music in, uh, in quarantine. Because, you know, when in quarantine you're bored, you, you don't want to play Roblox anymore. You got you to gotta get creative, you know? So, you know, she, uh, she used her musical genes to come up with this album, uh, Emily Montez by Emily Montez. <laughs> So, um, I'd say this album has a very, very heavy, uh, noise and drone influence. I can really tell that she studied the work of her father, Michael Jira. I can, uh, I can really tell that, um, you know, there's a, there's, um, you know, there, there's a, I, I can tell she's listened to a lot of soundtracks for the blind, you know, there's, she gets very adventurous with her, um, with her uh, with her track lengths, you know, some of the tracks reach a staggering length of 59 seconds, which is like, it took me like minutes to comprehend the length of that track because like, it was such a task, but it was so worth it in the end, you know? So yeah, I think the thing that makes this album really good is the really ambitious song lengths and the, the really experimental yet catchy production like the as well as her vocals i think the production on here is pretty off-putting at first but i think as the album progresses you get more used to it and you kind of notice there's a very heavy like pop influence i can really tell that she's listened to a lot of you know like camilla cabello and um yes so yeah dude i don't even you know, so I guess I'll just take it track by track. So we'll start off with the first track, Emily, with the E and the L capitalized. I think that's a very, I think the capitalization is strange, but it definitely suits the vibe of the record because it's, it, uh, it's a deep dive into Emily Montez's mind in a way. Like you're getting raw, uncut looks into the mind of a five-year-old picasso essentially <laughs> um so like the the capitalization of this title shows that you know she she's unhinged you know it's just her and nothing else you know um yeah so the production on this track is really good the beats are super tight uh the mix is great <laughs> um and the lyrics of this track are absolutely phenomenal you know my name is emily and i'm five i like playing roblox and i like going outside i miss school but i'm stuck inside this virus is me losing my mind so even at the, the young age of five you can already tell that she's a master wordsmith you know she has near earl sweatshirt level of rhyming which is like you know earl was 16 when he started rapping Emily's five or four or whatever, you know, like this just shows the amount of talent that she gets from her family, which is just insane and in how much talent is concentrated into 16 seconds. So we go on to the next track, Emily Montez by Emily Montez on Emily Montez. So I think th this track is a really dark, but raw look into the mind of emily so um 
uh, the she says, "I'm losing my mind and I'm going insane. I'm rising. I'm rising to fame from this TikTok game. I'm spitting fire and I got bars. I can rap a thousand words here to Mars." So she, firstly, she improves on her rhyming capability from the previous track. So, like, she goes from an A A A A rhyme scheme to a a A B B rhyme scheme, which is just like fucking mind blowing. Once you once I heard it for the first time, I had to pause for thirty minutes just to comprehend what I just listened to. So, yeah, and the lyrical content is incredibly depraved and dark. As we get a deep dive into the mind of a person who's been beaten down by this quarantine, you know, like obviously quarantine has hit everyone super hard, but. You can tell that um, Emily has, like, experienced a bunch of shit, you know. Alright, so since there's about, like, 35 more tracks on this album, I think I'm going to skip a few because I don't want this review to end up taking a really long time. So I'm going to skip to probably the, the highlight of the album, which is the last four tracks. Take Me Away, Roblox Is My Life, Give Me My Crowd, and Robotic City. Or Ro Robotic City? Robotacy? Yeah. So, <laughs> the track Take Me Away is the most ambitious track on the album. It, it's the longest track at over 35 minutes long. It's the longest track at over 42 minutes long. So, you can tell that Emily already, like, absorbed her life into this one song. Like, she's taken all of her... You can tell that Emily is, like, putting her all into this music. You know, she's incredibly devoted and um yeah and i think the lyrics on here are, are perhaps some of the best lyrics i've ever heard it again i think it expands on the themes of being depressed in quarantine very well so yeah the lyrics places new spaces take me somewhere where i've never been i want to go outside i want to feel alive <laughs> sorry I'm, I, I gotta cry for a second it's just too good uh, Alright, I want to go outside, I want to feel alive, I want to have fun, I want to be all in the sun, best rappers in a while, I want to pull up in style, take me to a place I've never seen, I want to go on a plane and see the sky, please take me away and don't ask why. So, in this, in this, um, in this rap, you know, she's almost saying that her, her, words define like defy meaning please take me away and don't ask why like she doesn't want to explain herself she just wants to express herself and he she doesn't want anyone analyzing it which is kind of ironic because i'm reviewing it but i think this album kind of needs to be studied due to the the many layers to it so you she she feels locked down haha by quarantine you know and she just she just desperately wants to go back to a time before this you know it's kind of like it's kind of like a better version of a lot's gonna change by wise blood you know i think the lyrics on a lot's gonna change are pretty amateurish compared to this but whatever um i yeah so and then we go to the next track roblox is my life <laughs> so this track uh <laughs> This track uh, shows how Emily distracts herself from the pain, you know, by <laughs> by playing the hit game Roblox. Uh, I the review 